How long, how long must we sing this song? Because I'm coming out here every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. And here we go in Iraq. And all those people died for nothing. They died for nothing. So when I got here, uh, the federal building looked smaller this week. I don't know. It looked smaller than it looked last week. It's an interesting, just a feeling that I got. It was. It's not as intimidating as it was. It's become uh, a weekly thing now. Let's shoot this way here. So you can actually see the building instead of the big mirror of it across the street. That's the federal building, folks. Say hello to my nemesis, the federal government of the United States. Not by choice, of course. Oh no, I don't want it this way. But it needs to be a warmonger, this guy. This. This government of mine. Hey, government. Still being a warmonger? Yeah? Why? Can you not? Can you just not be warmongers anymore? Can we? This is my building. This is my building. Hello, everybody. This is my federal building. And it's yours, too. So let's, uh, I don't know, stand up for the Constitution of the United States every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. 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 War ruins lives. It ruins families. It ruins human bodies. The death and destruction for what? For so oil money can go to Saudi Arabian? I don't get it, man. What? What are we fighting for anymore? Because freedoms, my freedoms were taken away when the Patriot Act was signed. The world's freedoms were taken over when George Bush decided he can start just invading countries at will. Well, yeah, sure, they have no connection to 9-11, but 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, 9-11, and here we go into Iraq. And all those people died for nothing. They died for nothing. All those people died for nothing. They died for nothing. They died so Dick Cheney's friends could go from being millionaires to billionaires. That's what they died for. Ah, damn it. It took hundreds of thousands of protesters 10 years to stop the Vietnam War. And this war, well, most Americans think this is a good idea because, you know, we were attacked on 9-11. So once we signed away our rights with the Patriot Act, this government of ours can do anything it wants to the world. Carte blanche, as they say. <sighs> After George Bush murdered her son, Cindy Sheehan went out and she sat at his ranch day after day and she just demanded to, just to ask him one question. What noble cause? She never got an answer. This building's your building. This building's my building. This land is your land. This land is my land. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Oh, this land was made for you and me. Every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. So I think that's about it for this week. I'll see you next week and every other week after that until we finally stop the war. Because I'm coming out here every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. Call your congressman and say no more. Tell him to say no to the TPP. Yeah. Tell him to say no. Tell him to say no to war. Tell him to say no to war. Tell him to say no to war. Doo -doo.
Have you called your congressman? No, 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 no. Have you called your congressman? No, 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 no. For reals, though, you have to call your congressperson. This is it. First, the TPP, because it's right at the edge. The TPP happens, American sovereignty is done. And everyone in Congress has got to take a stand on it. So you call your congressperson and you say, how are you voting on this one, pal? And if they say, oh, I think the TPP sounds great, you school them. You tell them what's up. You tell them that their little courts that it sets up are illegal under international law, but will be, will be bound by them. That's a loss of sovereignty to the corporations. They're not people! We are the American people. And we don't want war. And we don't want the TPP. And we don't want someone in Congress to represent me who doesn't believe as I do. That we have to stop the war. There's got to be no more war. Can we do this? Every Tuesday at four, every Tuesday at four, till we stop the war. Every Tuesday at four, till we stop the war. Wherever you are, on Tuesday at four, say something, yeah, yeah. Do something, yeah, yeah. To stop the war, stop the war, stop the war. Because I love that flag, that flag right there. Every Tuesday at four. Cause I love that flag, the American flag, it's in our hands, we're the American people, oh yeah. So while singing aside, I think uh, everyone should just take to the streets, or just, you know, protest in place, as they say, on Tuesday at 4, every week. You take that day off a little early if you can. You know what, I gotta be out of here at 4 because I'm gonna try to stop the war. No, I didn't think of it. Some, some homeless guy thought of it. Some homeless guy that almost crashed his cart just then trying to get that shot. <laughs> because I'm also a bit of a filmmaker. I don't know if you noticed. Every Tuesday at four, until we stop the war. So, uh, see you next week.